they call it corrections, but it seems to me like it could also be context because a chapter, yeah, just gets you around. And what you were talking about exactly, it's actually time-stamped comments. Welcome to Office Hours presented by Today in News Tech and our hometown, where we discuss posts and updates featured on the TNT Vodcast. In this episode, the team takes a look at YouTube's new corrections feature, highlighting possible implications and opportunities for news publishers on the platform. Check out the original video here. All right. That's interesting. Um, yeah. Any comments on that? I mean, uh, we should probably try to to demonstrate it maybe as like a follow up video. You know, that might be kind of cool. I, I actually um, checked to see if it would work on one of our old videos. And yeah. it's uh, it. I've double checked. Data, it's supposed so. to be rolling out to everybody by the end of the month. So it should be pretty okay. close where I can show what it looks like. But uh, basically you go in and the details of it, just so I can give you a little bit of stuff that wasn't in the video itself. Sure. Is you go, you, um, you basically just put the word correction or corrections after your timestamps for the chapters. And then you can add as many timestamps for corrections as you would like that mm -hmm. card as it said only appears for the first one but then you can bring that up that interface up and it'll list all the corrections with all those timestamps mm -hmm. right as well right. and i would assume you can put anything in those corrections including maybe links to an right. updated coverage or something so that was where i was thinking about the transparency and the right. integrity aspect right i really right. have a big question sure Is this, can this only be applied or a applied by the person that owns the account? Just whoever uh, whoever you authorize to edit uh, the description okay. of the video. So that was that was what I was thinking. I was like, okay, so are we gonna get, now is Google gonna come in here and do like fact checking and all of a sudden everybody's videos are gonna have these corrections by Google on there? Ooh, absolutely, <laughs> no. as that is not my impression at all. Right, right, although they that, do. That is, a, that is a very interesting caveat to think about yeah. though. Yeah. Right. Because uh, they, they are doing automated chapters in some videos now. Um, automated chapters, you said? Automated chapters, oh, yeah. Wow. And actually, um, in some okay. videos, they'll even show you which chapter markers have been getting the most clicks as you right. scan through the video. So a few, few little things like that. So this is kind of all built around um, the chapters. Yeah, it's basically right? utilizing the same uh, the interface type. Yeah, the interface because yeah. you would take a chapter and you would comment on the chapter. That's how you put the co correction in. Is that no, right? No, no, no. Uh, well, That's I different. mean, the, the interface oh. is the same, but they're okay. handling the data mm. differently. Okay, so they're, right. This, they'll, okay. they'll keep those separate. So there'll only be one card that shows up one interface uh, right. announcement that there are right. corrections for a video. Right, and then right all of the the timestamps for corrections are just under that umbrella which are which right. are going to be separate and that's why you have to list them or you're supposed to list them after huh. any chapter timestamp so they don't get mixed up ah interesting yeah i'm gonna have to see this in action but i can sort of picture it um let's just take it back a step and think about how does this apply for local newspapers um i guess i would throw out there just this idea um, this is a good way. I, I don't know if, you know, this has been a barrier for people getting into YouTube, but like the idea of having to go up there and put corrections on an evolving story, I can see that being like, oh, it's a hassle. You know, like we never really, um, we can't post the video as it's, as it's evolving. You know, we, it has to be like a, a finalized story, but maybe this will kind of allow people to, to put something a little bit more rough up there as a first cut and then kind of add information in as they go I, I don't know well i would think of imagine if you if you know some a town board actually allowed video so you had a, a you know a recording or an interview or something like that and basically right. you wanted to get that up with some introductory coverage but then if you had uh extra things that were updated you don't want to get rid of that right that that space where that video already exists so this would be yeah create because right. it, it's they call it corrections but it seems to me like it could also be context and right. stuff because a yep. chapter, yep. yeah, it just gets you around. And what you were talking about exactly, it's actually time-stamped comments yeah. that the right. creator is providing on their own, own video to give you more information or correct something that is inaccurate. Right. So right, I, I right. imagine it could almost be almost called as annotations. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. Wow. It's cool to see that this thing changing as, uh, I mean, I don't know exactly what prompted this 
response. Maybe just seeing that many. They of said the it was from feedback stuff. from cr yeah. other creators. Yeah, yeah. they just I mean, they, it, they were taking videos down. And, this yeah. sort of reminds me of a feature that YouTube used to have that they got rid of mm -hmm. years ago, mm -hmm. where you Cards. could have pop-ups. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I used to use those. Yeah, I thought those were super cool. That yeah, I link. loved them. I right. Did you ever? So you made a video where you could like I think you could link to um, another video from. Yeah, you can do that. Right. We, yeah. You can still do that. Okay. Actually, so I put those in every one there. of our videos. Yeah. I thought, yeah, at the end, it's um, at actually, the end, it's that little icon. Oh, no, the one I'm talking about is the eye icon at the top of the video block box. Oh, that. Yeah. Oh, okay. What that is shows okay. you any anything that you drop in for cards or links Got to other videos and stuff. And so that, that you can pop up at a certain time in the video. And you can uh -huh. put... Right. A bunch of those in there. Um, you have to be a certain tier to actually put links, but you can link to as many videos as you want. Um, right. That's why uh, I thought this corrections thing was going to be interesting because it doesn't it doesn't seem to um, uh, restrict what you can link to in the correction comment. Right. So Maybe right, a place right. where you could actually link to. That's what I was a just story. Yeah. Right. Right. I was just thinking this could be a I'll source have to of test traffic. It, though. Right. Yeah. Well, that's a great one. Oh, man. See, like you're kind of discovering stuff it, it, like uh, it's not even common knowledge yet. This stuff is so new. Yeah. This um, came out on The Verge and, and whatever cool. uh, just like yesterday, but they didn't even put it on their blog. They just it just came out on the, this video from on their creators channel. Right. And there was an update to the support page. That was it. <laughs> right. 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 Interesting. Yeah, I mean, if we could link um, back to the article on the website uh, or, you know, a follow up article, I'm just also thinking, how could we use this for our hometown? Because we have these products that are changing. Um, I don't know if we would want to call it a correction, but, you know, we could have updates to product videos rather than or do a guided demo that way. And you use the correction section to take them to the specific feature pages. Oh. There you go. Well, we might have to do some testing to see if we can manipulate this a little bit and see yeah. if we can get it to. But, but the only thing I'm, 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 I've seen from is that it just has the heading corrections that's kind of like fixed. Right. So, uh -huh. so it's going to have like that kind of context, regardless of what we actually might try to put in there. Right. Right. So, yeah, I mean, just even more basic, like why we could just use this feature here to. Yeah, link. I put that at the end of. I mean, and maybe I could try putting it, putting, because they have a bunch of different other ones, but it's usually right. something suggested plus, you know, that, that lovely picture of you to get them to subscribe. That's like the, <laughs> right. the, the splash page that I usually put up. Right, right. Okay. But um, this, wait, what was I going to That ask? can be other things. It's, it can be, at, but it can be at any point in the video? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so you just superimpose that on top. So basically we would... When we're doing these tutorial videos, Actually, we would want I'm, to kind um, of... I'm sorry. I may take that back. I yeah. think the end ones that are, do these overlays... It might be only at the end. ...have to be at the end. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm sorry. So you might be able to put it early, but... Right. So what Tyler was talking about, and I remember doing this, is you could those have them cards. at any point. Car yeah, cards. Those are, they so call those cards. And that's what this is. Right. Or, right. Okay. And so, so they and so they'll pop up and then they'll kind of hide in that eye icon. So as you uh, go through the video, if you didn't actually want to click on any of the cards that popped up, they'll all be contained in that little eye thing. So I think that, it comes up around eight seconds. Yeah, there it is. Oh, does it? Oh, it does that. See, I don't even pay attention to that, honestly. <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> I've got to yeah, be, I gotta be. I forgot I, it was there. I don't well, even ever. Click I can on. actually um, add to the video. Hey, click here it's okay. and put no, a pointer. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool, man. Yeah, I I never even thought about that. I didn't realize you were doing it. Um, hey, all Google so, Day. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, I Google Day, right? So um, yeah, I think this or if you could even work into the video a screenshot of the the other video that we're linking to i don't know i just think we could we could start to network these uh tutorial videos together so that it's just like it flows and you know prospects could just almost simulate a live demo by like clicking one after another that's kind of the dream right well, well that was the approach i've been taking to the most recent uh feature product videos is to kind of make yeah. them feel like chapters. Right, right, so right. So if we did kind of definitely into something longer, oh, it yeah. would feel that way. The way you're doing it is it's perfect. All, all okay, we need to cool. do is add the links to the other videos. It, it like, 
yeah, I can totally see. Um, let's see. Because uh, let you can certainly here. link from one video to a next. I mean, that's already there. That So we could actually... Right say at any time if you get this you can click in the on the card in the blah 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 right, in the top right, right yeah. and go to the next right. section yeah exactly interesting right. that would be an interesting because then you could have a whole different set of things in in the description which could have different links that relate to that feature and not have right. to like have eight pages of stuff you know right right the description yeah. yeah so like on a section like this or something i'm picturing like if we had another video that went into more detail, probably you, on you could pop right a here. card right in the top right yeah, there. No, the no problem. At all. Wall. Right. And then the arrow, I think that's everything. They, the, whatever, I don't know. I don't know. How, uh, that little eye is just not, <laughs> it's not attractive. It doesn't attract my attention at all. So, um, well, that's, that's actually one thing that a lot of creators do is okay, they'll point is the they arrow. put their yeah. own little thingies out there for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, and so I've got a couple of templates that, yeah, you could have the card there, but you could also have something that calls attention to that same spot at the same time, you know, to let you know something's there, yeah. <laughs>